Hi you guys, uh, my name's Emily and today I'm going to be sharing on the sections in chapter 6 titled Receiving Grace Through Failures and Being Broken Through Failures. So I, just, I really enjoyed this section and how it focused on David and his fall that enabled him to embrace God more fully. And I like how he wrote in Psalms 51:17 that the sacrifices of God are a broken spirit and a broken spirit and a contrite heart, O oh God, you will not despise. So this kind of made me think of a song by Jason Gray where he states that um, basically the more broken that you are, the more God's light can shine through you. And that reminded me of the verse that David talked about. And so therefore, I think that God allows us to fail so that he can expel that false confidence that we all put in ourselves and um, he, so that we can experience God more fully and God's grace more fully through those failures. And so another topic that the section talks about is weakness and how uh, God will never remove any of our weak or all of our weaknesses. And this hit me really hard because I'm constantly asking God to make me better, to make me more good, to make me stronger, to make me more wise. And I'm always surprised whenever I realize that God doesn't do any of those things. He lets me keep my weaknesses, but we need those weaknesses so that we can understand that we can in any way, shape or form do any of this on our own. We need God and God needs us. And so if we have these weaknesses that lead to failures, then we can truly experience God fully and his grace. And so we shouldn't be surprised or shocked or mad whenever um, God lets us fail, but we should be thankful that God's allowing us that so that we can grow more in him. The end.